Okay, do you wanna learn how to create a cool masking transition in Final Cut Pro just like this? This is our 2022 edition of this masking tutorial. So let's jump into Final Cut and get straight into it. Okay, so we're in Final Cut and we've got these three shots here that we're gonna use. The first one is this shot here of the Manchester Library. And you can see we next go into me walking across a bridge. It's okay, but I think we can cut it together much nicer with a masking transition. And then uh, we're gonna go to this shot here of the tram in Manchester. And I'm actually gonna show you another masking title trick at the end of this video, so keep uh, watching for that as well. So let's get started on this. I wanna show you this as quick as possible. So the first thing you wanna do here is we want to um, press the P key, the P, the P shortcut, and this will change to the position tool. And then what we're gonna do is drag this up and this means you can lift a clip out of your timeline while keeping um, the, the bottom track kind of active as well. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a little marker on here just before I come into frame. As you can see, I walk across this frame. And just a little tip for a masking transition. You want to have something that crosses the entire frame of your shot. Now, you can do this yourself. In this case, this was me walking across, or you can have a bike or a car, some kind of vehicle to achieve this. And the reason you wanna make it um, cross the full frame is so that you don't get any sort of cut out bits and you, and, you know, and it just mess up your shot. So have something that goes all the way across. And I'm gonna start this here. So I'm gonna add a marker. I'm gonna hit the M keyboard shortcut there to add a marker. And then we've got a second clip here of me walking across. And what I wanna do is I essentially want this to start. So I'm going back to the select tool by pressing A. I'm gonna drag this to here because this is roughly where we want the cut to start happening. Now, this is where the magic hits in. So we, what we are gonna do is we are gonna come down here to our effects. We are gonna make sure we are on all video and audio. I'm gonna type in mask. And I'm gonna go here and you wanna select the draw mask. So I'm gonna drag and drop it on top of this clip here. And you can see here, it says click to add a control point. So what I'm gonna do is just zoom out a little bit. Let's actually get rid of this. We're gonna zoom out a little bit here to maybe 50%. And I'm gonna start drawing a mask in a little bit earlier. And you'll see why I'll do this in a moment. Okay, now you can see there that we've got this mask on. And what we wanna do is we wanna invert this mask. And the reason for that is we wanna see what's behind this area that we're gonna chop out. So we've got this clip here. And the next thing you need to do before we start is you wanna come down to here where it says transform and control points and make sure you've got these ticked here and go to transform and tick all of these here like so. Now, you may be thinking, why do I need to do that? Well, these are the keyframes. So as I move through the frame, I've purposely worn a coat which is a bit big and, and sort of frumpy like that. It's not a straight line. So we are gonna need to add key points throughout this transition and go frame by frame. If you have a straight object, like maybe uh, the back of a bus, you can do this by skipping maybe three or four frames at a time but I'm gonna show you the long way just so you know how to do it perfectly. So we're gonna start this frame here. We're gonna press the right hand key, okay? And we can see here, this is the first frame, I think, where we need to add this keyframe. So what we wanna do is we wanna add some more masking points in here. So I'm gonna click and hold on this mask, double click on there to add another point M gonna add one there. And essentially what we are gonna do is draw around the little jacket here. So you can see, I'm gonna get nice and tight as you can. And then we're gonna move these control points as we go. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now to 100% just so we can see. And uh, you wanna get nice and close. Actually, let's get out a little bit there. Let's uh, do it to fit. Along here, I'm going to add another one in here, and then you'll see what happens when we go through, forward, 
This stays where it is, but you can see it's keying out the background. So what we want to do, we can drag this entire mask forward, and that's going to key. Uh, that's going to create those keyframes there, and you can see that on the right hand side. So I'm going to drag this over, but as you can see, as I'm naturally walking, my jacket is moving. So what you want to do is just at each point, just make sure you drag these up, and you might want to add in some more uh, keyframes at this point. I should zoom out actually to 50%, and uh, I'm going to move that. Oh, I'm going to add another one in there. Double click, drag that across like so, and you can see we've got this new one here. So I'm going to drag this up here. I'm going to add another one in there. there. Okay, so that's cutting out. I'm going to go forward a couple of frames. I'm going to move this. Sometimes you don't add, need to add as many keyframes. I'm just going to move these a little bit like so. Whoops, a little bit farther. Okay, I'm gonna drag that forward again. And essentially, you wanna go through frame by frame and do this. Keep moving these points until you get all the way across and I walk out the shot. So I'm gonna do that now. Let's speed this section up. Just gonna jump in here quickly. I'm nearly done. But what you want to make sure is at this uh, right hand side of this that it doesn't kind of as you move forward do this because obviously you're going to see part of the uh, original shot there so just make sure you drag this back and that will sort you out on with the edit okay so we are complete we have done all of our keyframes now if we play this through let's go to fit and let's see how it looks. Boom, now it looks good, but you can see it looks a little bit sharp at some points. So the way you can fix this is actually by changing the feathering. So if we go back over to our inspector here, um, you can see that we've got feather on here. Now, if we adjust this, if we adjust this to the left, it's gonna pull it obviously to the uh, left of the sort of, you know, sort of left of the uh, shirt there. If we pull it to the right, it's gonna go into the shirt. So you wanna find the right balance so that you're not getting this kind of glow. I'm gonna pull it to about there and then you can play around with the fall off as well just to blend it in a little bit. I'm gonna take that down a little bit. And let's play that through. See how this looks. Okay, it's nice, but I think there's a little bit of a, a point where it gets a bit jaggedy there. Think. So I'm going to just go through again, tighten that up a bit, and then we'll come back, see how it looks. There we go. So we've made some adjustments, and overall, I think it's looking pretty good. Good enough for this tutorial to give you this idea. And already, this looks much nicer, doesn't it? Now, we're going to add some sound effects in a moment, but I think you'll agree, for a starting point, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do between this and the next shot is we are going to use this bridge. You can see as we're walking past this bridge, um, we're getting the, the shape of the bridge. Now, this is a much easier one to mask, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Again, let's press P. Let's drag this up like so. And again, I want to maybe do it for this one. Let's have a look. So again, and then we're going to get the tram Come just before the tram comes in. So I think we want to start it just about there. I'm going to add my marker there again by pressing the M key. And then we're going to go back to the select tool. I'm going to drag this here. And now we are going to do another masking transition right here to the tram. So again, we're going to want to grab the draw mask, drag that on top of the clip like so. And you can see here, it says click to add control point. Now again, what we want to do is we want to make sure our control points are ticked. We want to make sure that our transforms uh, keyframes are ticked as well. Let's tick all of those. And then we are, uh, we've zoomed out. So we are just going to create a nice little diagonal here like so. We can edit this in a moment. And we're going to invert this as well. So let's go here like so, and let's go across. So we can see here 
that the bridge is coming through. Now this is a straight line, so this is gonna be quite an easy one to do. I'm just gonna undo, draw must change, I'm gonna double click that. Okay, just drag that there like so. Okay, I'm gonna move that forward. Now, when you get straight lines like this, you can actually jump through five or 10 frames at a time if you want to. It does make the job a little bit easier, especially if it's like a very fast transition. Most people won't notice, and uh, you can obviously play around with the feathering and the softening to, to get this looking really, really good. I'm doing a quick job today to show you. There we go. So let's have a look. Let's play this back. Let's uh, change the view to fit and see how this looks. And secondly, we should go into this tram shot. Let's see how this looks. I think that looks pretty nice. So again, it looks a little bit, uh, the, the lines look a little bit too straight. So again, what we're gonna do is we are gonna feather, and I'm gonna do it that way again. There we go, and this should help it again. Let's play it back. Boom, I think that looks pretty, pretty cool. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is show you what you can do. If you have something like this, where you know the tram isn't filling the full frame, you couldn't use this as a wipe transition. So what else can you use this for? Well, if you did wanna use it as um, a masking transition, what you could do first of all, you could just grab this and you could scale in, sew the tram, actually takes up the full shot like so. And then you could do what we've done in the other two examples and draw around. So that's one way of getting around it. But I'm not gonna do that with that. I'm gonna reset uh, that. So let's undo that scale change. I'm gonna use this for a different type of masking um, effect. And that is to put a title on this. So let me run you through this. So what we are gonna do, we are gonna duplicate the clip and we're gonna hold down the option key we're gonna drag this up and that's gonna duplicate the clip. So we have one clip on top of the other. Secondly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my titles now. And I'm just gonna find a basic kind of 3D title. This one looks okay. Uh, 360. So let's just use that one, shall we? Whether rotate, custom. Let's just drag that on top like so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come into my inspector, let's get rid of that. And we're in Manchester, so let's just change the name of this to Manchester. Let's make this nice and big. And you could use this for, for, you know, for a title, for example. And what you wanna do, so we've got this here. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It's nice and centerized. Could probably make it even bigger. Let's do that. Let's just change the color to maybe this uh, Rob in the office is a Man City fan. So let's make it a, a blue. Obviously some of you might have it in red. Let's do that. And now the next thing you wanna do is let's drag and drop this between the two clips. And we're gonna use a slightly different masking technique for this one. We're gonna use the shape mask on this, and we're gonna drag it and drop it on top of our tram. Now you can see here, the shape mask needs a little bit of editing. So let's edit this. So you get this box here, we are actually gonna drag this over like so. And what we wanna do, as the tram goes past, we want it to reveal our Manchester title. So let's do that. So essentially we wanna get it to the point here where the tram is off the screen like so. And we're gonna add our marker in there. And this is the point where we want um, our shape to start masking. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make this actually quite big. This is gonna be a very easy transition to do because we don't really need to kind of draw around the object as much in this one. Um, so let's just stretch this out. Let's just zoom out a little bit on this so we can see. And 
Let's do that. And there we go. And again, we need to add our control points. So I'm going to convert that to control points. Boom. I'm going to tick these on just like we did before. And then we are going to add some keyframes. So as this moves, we're going to drag this across. Moves, drag it across. Okay, you get the picture. We are just matching this tram here, okay? And because the title is a small object, you don't need to cut all the way around it like you did in the other examples. But just get it roughly to the front and then uh, we'll see what this looks like. So I'm going to speed through this now for you. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, please hit that subscribe button because we have a ton of tutorials like this on the channel. We also give away free effects and LUTs and I'm gonna show you some of the free effects that we give away in a moment, some of these free sound effects. But this is nearly done. I'm doing a very rough job of this, but in this case, I can go three frames at a time. Boom, we're done. I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's go view, fit. Let's see how this looks. We're gonna cut from the bridge. We're gonna use the masking transition. We're gonna get this tram going past, a little speed ramp there, and it's gonna reveal the word Manchester for our video. So let's take a little look at that sequence. Again, it's looking pretty good, but there's some other things that you can do to improve this, the sequence, and especially masking transitions, and that is to add sound effects. So we've got a free sound effects pack here at Editor's Keys that we produced a long time ago. Um, it's still available for free, so if you wanna download it, either give us a like on Instagram, or you can hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel and check out the link in the description and you can get these sound effects for free. So let me play you a few of these swoosh sound effects. Pretty nice sound effects. So what I'm gonna do is just drag one of these. At each point, we have uh, the transition and line these up. There we go. The next one is the tram. And I actually think that sounds pretty good for that. Let's drag this down here. We can see the cut there. A bit too early. A little bit too early still. There we go. And then we're gonna get a third one. A bit of a slow, let's find a slow one. quite one this one but let's drag this in like so there we go so there you go you can see if you compare this with some city sound effects and the whoosh sound effects this is going to look really good so i'm just going to add some cityscape uh, sound effects a bit of music and then we'll play it back and take a look at the final output <laughs> So there we go, what did you think of that? Let me know in the comment section below and I think you might also enjoy this next video coming right up. I'll see you in that one.